Today we're gonna to use some high quality Amana bits and blades for, to make this beautiful reclaimed pine live edge coffee table with modern hairpin legs. Here are the rescued kiln dried lumber slabs at my lumber dealer. I went with three boards from the same tree instead of trying to find a single board that would span the width. This was to utilize the rescued lumber and also be able to control the dimensions that I wanted. As I lay these slabs on the insulation, I am overlapping them and trying to come up with a layout and orientation that I like. Using a ripping blade for my track saw, I was able to rip the slabs and get them to the width I would like. The two outside sections get one rip and the center slab gets one rip and then we'll bring it to the final width at the table saw. With the slabs ripped with the track saw, we can bring them to the joiner to straighten up the edge and get it ready for the glue up. I set my stop block at the miter saw station and make the cut in multiple passes. I then scoot the slab a little bit away from the stop to allow the blade to have a little air in the curve to help prevent pinching and kickback. This is a great safety tip for working with any wood, especially with raw slabs that have incredible internal stresses. I get the slabs into my clamp rack and apply a healthy amount of glue to each joint and apply clamping pressure. With my brother-in-law's help, we can get the rough coffee table top on the CNC and ready for flattening. Next I install a Manitool RC-2255 and a half inch collet. I set the Z0 on a spot that I thought was the lowest area of the slab. Turns out it was not and I had to take this in a few passes to get the entire top nice and level. This particular surfacing bit can take a depth of a cut of up to one quarter of an inch which is pretty massive. On the flip side of the coffee table slab we certainly hit a few spots that were close to reaching the max depth of cut. Once this side was nice and flat we flipped the top and repeated the same process on the other side. This second operation allowed us to get a nice and flat and equal thickness all the way across the tabletop. Next we use a mana tool blade in our track saw to cut the ends flush and to bring the table to its final length. Filled some of the voids and knots with black tinted epoxy and let it cure. I then sanded the entire top bringing the epoxy areas nice and flush. I really wanted to keep the bark but it was terribly weak in some areas. With the sanding done and the table cleaned with mineral spirits to remove the dust, I apply 5 coats of golden oak danish oil and really brings out the grain and look of the rescued slabs in this pine tabletop. I let each coat cure and hit it with a light sanding before the next coat. After the final coat, I was able to secure these hairpin legs with 4 screws each. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. I hope you guys liked the final product. A couple things that I really enjoyed is one, we were able to reclaim this pine off the logging site, bring it in the workshop and turn it into a piece of furniture that's gonna last many generations. And then two, the live edge itself on the top. Um, we kind of brought a modern feel to that as well where we removed the bark, we sanded it down nice and smooth. Let me know below if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to provide some feedback and answer any questions you may have. I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.